everyone. Today we're going to be learning all about weight and capacity. And to do that, we're going to play a little game called capacity or weight. You're the contestant who's going to tell me for each situation, is it an example of capacity or is it an example of weight? Let's make sure we have a good understanding of both of those things first. Capacity is how much liquid a container can hold. And weight is how heavy an object is. Use those two definitions to help you with the game show. How much coffee did I drink this morning? What do you think, capacity or weight? You got it, capacity. Okay, how much water can fit in this pool? You got it, it's another capacity. Okay, how much does my favorite animal, the sloth, weigh? You got it, weight. I wonder if this is a five pound watermelon or a 10 pound watermelon. You got it, weight. Okay, and how much yummy queso can fit in this bowl? You got it, capacity. How heavy is this controller? You got it, weight. Oh, this is a massive block in an Egyptian pyramid. It's so heavy. All right, you got the last one. It's another weight example. Great job. Okay, so now we're gonna use all of the examples we just looked at, which by the way, my husband had a really fun time drawing these for you. We're gonna look at each one of them and make some decisions about what would be a reasonable measurement for those. So now that you know a little bit more about capacity and weight, you can make some decisions about which units would work best, how heavy something seems, how much liquid you think can fit inside of something. So let's dig in. Okay, our first example, one of my favorites, mullet guy in the pool. Do you think that pool can fit A, 2,000 gallons, B, 2,000 liters, C, 2,000 fluid ounces? So think about each one of those units and which one would be most appropriate. All right, I think you got it. Gallons makes the most sense for a large above ground pool. We know that fluid ounces are very small and we know that a liter, you can find a liter bottle of soda at the grocery store. A lot of them are two liters, uh, but you can find smaller ones that are one liter and that is smaller than a gallon. So it makes more sense to pick the 2000 gallons as our answer. The sloth, let's see, we've got three choices again. We have five ounces, we have 10 meters, we have 15 pounds. Do you see one that we could eliminate? All right, hopefully you notice that B, 10 meters, that is not a unit for weight. That is a unit for length. So we're gonna just get rid of that one and then between five ounces and 15 pounds, what do you think would be reasonable for a sloth? Okay, great, 15 pounds. The bowl of queso, yummy. So we've got eight fluid ounces, eight ounces, eight tons. What do you think about this one? All right, a lot of us are saying, well, let's get rid of the eight tons for sure. But we might be a bit confused between eight fluid ounces and eight ounces. That can be a little tricky because they both have the word ounces in them. But we just have to remember that fluid ounces is talking about capacity and ounces is talking about weight. So this one, let's choose A then fluid ounces because we were talking about filling the bowl with queso. 
All right, the watermelon. So let's see what would be most reasonable. 10 ounces, 10 pounds, or 10 grams. What do you think? Great job, 10 pounds. All right, then we have the game controller. So we have 10 ounces, 10 pounds, 10 kilograms. What do you think makes the most sense in this example? Okay, if you're thinking like I am, I feel like it's not going to be more than a pound. So I'm going to get rid of the 10 pounds and maybe a little less than a, a pound. And I know that a pound is 16 ounces. So it seems like 10 ounces is very reasonable. Okay, great job. All right, the massive block in an Egyptian pyramid. Let me give you a clue. This is going to be really, really heavy. So do we think 250 pounds, 2.5 tons, or 250 gallons? Okay, a lot of you are saying, well, let's get rid of the gallons because we're talking about weight. All right, you got it. 2.5 tons. All right, then we can't forget my coffee. I got to have some every day. So what do you think is the amount of coffee I'm drinking? Eight fluid ounces, 12 ounces, 16 milliliters. All right, so this one's capacity because it's liquid in the cup. And so you got it, eight fluid ounces. Great job. Great work today, everyone. I hope this video helps you in your math class or at home. 